Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener. Today we're going to talk about outdoor cooking. So here are 25 ideas for putting together a fabulous outdoor kitchen. Get you ready for all those spring and summer barbecues you have planned this year. So outdoor kitchen cooking can start with something really simple, like these little portable barbecues that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or all these other places. You can even get bigger, fancier ones, Costco sells this one it's a nice long one has a nice counter space and is portable you can actually roll it easily but I'm primarily going to talk about the built-in barbecues and the different styles of those kind of barbecues so let's get going first we're going to start with L-shaped barbecues this is the most common and most popular type of an outdoor kitchen because it creates a cooking space and a serving space so the cooking space obviously has the grill but it can also have a sink to help prep it, it really depends on the kind of cooking you're going to do and then the return will have either the space for eating or serving or in this case a raised counter because that way your friends can kind of drink beer and see how you're doing with those hot dogs you can put bar stools around it you don't even have to have a raised counter you can do an overhang and just have regular seats as well as you can see in some of these because after all look at this view it's a fabulous view to sit there have your hot dogs and hamburgers and just watch the sunset. So again, an L-shaped one is great for cooking and then a little serving area to serve the food and your guests can grab it and either just stand there or there or go over to an area to eat. They also want to talk about different materials. Now this is a concrete countertop. There are a couple different things you can do for an outdoor kitchen. The most common is poured concrete like you see here. You can also do tile, you can do quartzite, uh, granite, different types of countertops as well. But also let's talk about these raised counters. So with concrete countertops or just any kind of countertop, the most common is to do a split level one like that. So split level means the one side is 42 inches high and the cooking side is 36 inches high, which is the height of a typical kitchen counter. So if you think you're going to have people sitting at a bar stool, you're going to have that split level effect to kind of help with that. All right, now let's talk about straight uh, straight outdoor kitchens. So straight ones are ones when you have a little less space, but you still want to have a nice cooking area. So here you typically will put the barbecue either in the middle or to one side and just have a small area. Now you can still do that split level look where you have that counter for the people to sit and eat or drink right next to it. Um, but typically with a straight one, you want to have just an area for cooking and then you go to a different area for the actual eating. All right, another kind, the really big fancy kind is the U-shaped barbecue. That's what you see here. So now let's talk about a couple of different construction techniques. So with all barbecues, you can either make them out of CMU block, which is a great material because it allows for a lot of flexibility. You just cut the black or you can also use metal modular units, which is how this barbecue was done. The advantage of a metal modular unit is it's going to be a little less expensive because it's prefabricated and then you just have to do some minor adjustments once you get it to the spot. The disadvantage is it's a little limiting you can't quite do the custom looks but you can still do a beautiful kitchen here is that metal modular one when it's all finished covered with the tile top the stone facade really looks great so there's two different ways the concrete gives you a little more flexibility the metal still gives you a really great look let's also talk a little bit about different um parts of a kitchen as far as appliances go. Now the most common of course is the grill itself. Usually a gas grill, not always, like this particular one is a charcoal grill, but also among the things you can put into an outdoor kitchen is you can have an ice machine, you can, and that's what you see here, um, a sink, a refrigerator is also a popular one to keep drinks cold right out there for the party. I always recommend throwing a couple of outlets in there too in case you want to set up a blender. Um, and of course, you definitely want to have uh, drawers under the grill to get it 
uh, make it usable and store those tills. The nice thing about CMU block, you can even curve the barbecue. So here I wanted to do kind of an interesting barbecue where it curves and then leads directly into a fireplace. Same thing here. We did a small barbecue, but it curves directly into seating around a fire pit. So one of the advantages, again, of a CMU block wall uh, material is that you can do all kinds of cool custom shapes and that's a really great thing if you're creating an outdoor kitchen i hope you enjoyed all these ideas there's more information in the video description for some of these barbecues and that's all the time we have for today this is doug the two minute gardener saying if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my garden videos and landscape videos this is doug the two minute gardener saying thanks for watching